Peppa Pig, Peppa and Friends. Peppa loves her friends. She sees them every day at playgroup. Sometimes Peppa goes to playgroup early because she has joined Breakfast Club. <laughs> at Breakfast Club, there is cereal, fruit, and lots of toast. Please, can I have a slice? asks Peppa. Pop! Toast comes out for Peppa and all her friends. Hooray! Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. They have played together since they were babies. Peppa and Susie like pretending. If they forget their bicycles, they ride on pretend ones instead. My pretend bicycle has got sparkly wheels, says Peppa, and it's painted like a rainbow. Susie gets on her pretend bicycle. My bike is pink and fluffy, she says. <coughs> Danny Dog likes dressing up with Peppa. They love to dress as pirates. Shiver me timbers, says Danny. Where's me pieces right? Pardon? As Peppa, pirate talk can be a bit difficult to understand. Danny points to the map. They need to find the pirate treasure. Peppa spots a bag of chocolate coins beside the sofa. There it is, she cries. Mandy Mouse is Peppa's new friend. Mandy is very good at playing the recorder. Let's play a song together, she says. Good idea, Mandy, says Peppa. One, two, three. Peppa and Mandy lift up their recorders. Then they put their fingers over the holes and blow. Madame Gazelle smiles. Oh my, what lovely music. Rebecca Rabbit and Peppa love animals. Today, they're at a petting farm. The petting farm is a place where you go to meet tiny little animals. Peppa gasps. Look at all the guinea pigs. The guinea pigs are very furry. They run up to see Peppa and Rebecca. Rebecca strokes an orange guinea pig. Can you hear him squeaking, Peppa? <laughs> Pedro Pony makes Peppa laugh. It's always fun when he comes to play. Sometimes Pedro and Peppa are allowed to help make pizzas for tea. What toppings do you want? asks Peppa. She chooses cheese, tomatoes and mushrooms. Pedro chooses cheese and pineapple. Look, shouts Pedro, I've made a smiley face. <laughs> Gerald Giraffe is Peppa's tallest friend. He likes running around outside. Come on, says Gerald. Let's play basketball. Peppa aims the ball towards the hoop. It is very high up. Oh no, I can't reach it. Peppa cries. Gerald has a go. Whoosh! He throws the ball through the hoop. George is Peppa's little brother. They are extra special friends. George is still small. He likes copying Peppa. Look, George, says Peppa. There's a big muddy puddle. Peppa jumps into the puddle. George jumps into squelch. This muddy puddle is so big, cries Peppa. There's even room for all my friends. Peppa loves her friends. Everybody loves Peppa. The Peppa Pig and the Family Reunion <coughs> Peppa and George are very excited. <laughs> Today the Pig family is having a reunion. Wow. Everyone in the family will be there. You've brought pie, says Peppa. I love pie. 
Mm. Says George. <laughs> Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig unpack the car. They have brought a lot of stuff for the baby. <whistles> Daddy Pig helps Uncle Pig unload a high chair, some baby toys, a stroller, and even a bathtub. <gasps> Peppa likes baby Alexander. <laughs> Would you like to help feed the baby? asks Auntie Pig. <coughs> oh yes, says Peppa. <coughs> she tries to feed baby Alexander. He turns away. <coughs> Peppa tries again. The baby won't open his mouth. Oh no! Try playing an airplane, says Auntie Pig. <coughs> She shows Peppa how to fly the spoon into baby Alexander's mouth. <laughs> it works. Can you say airplane? Asked Peppa. Baby Alexander can't talk yet. <laughs> Peppa wants to teach baby Alexander to talk. <gasps> Can you say dinosaur? <laughs> ka, ka, says baby Alexander. Later that night, it's time to put baby Alexander to bed. But he doesn't sleep for long. <laughs> What's that noise? asked Peppa. Baby Alexander is awake. <laughs> no, what's that other noise? That's the vacuum cleaner, says Chloe. Why are you vacuuming at night? asked Daddy Pig. And why is Auntie Pig playing a trumpet? <coughs> Loud noises are the best way to get baby Alexander to sleep, <coughs> shouts Uncle Pig. We are a very noisy family. <coughs> it is a very noisy night. <coughs> After breakfast the next morning, Everyone goes for a walk. Peppa tries to teach baby Alexander a new word. Oh. Look, a bird, says Peppa. Oh. Oh. Says baby Alexander. Sky, oh. says Peppa. Oh. Oh. Says baby Alexander. <coughs> then it's time for the family reunion lunch. Hmm. They are having Peppa's favourite. Spaghetti. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig love spaghetti too. Both of them ask for more. For dessert, everyone has a piece of Granny Pig's pie. Hooray! Yum! Peppa says to Baby Alexander. Hmm. <coughs> says Baby Alexander. <laughs> Chloe has brought her puppet theatre, and she and Peppa and George put on a puppet show. Wow! They make a Chloe puppet, a Peppa puppet, and a dinosaur puppet for George. <laughs> everyone claps after the puppet show. Well, almost everyone. Oh. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. Peppa and Chloe go outside to play before the reunion is over. Baby Alexander likes to watch them play in the mud. Look, baby Alexander, says Peppa. We're jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> and then it happens. Baby Alexander says his first word. Puddles. Well done, baby Alexander. Well done, Peppa. <coughs> the end. <coughs> Peppa Pig, my daddy and me. <laughs> this is my daddy and me. We do everything together. I love doing things with my daddy because he can do anything. Wow! What are we going to do next, daddy? Here are some of our favourite things to do. 
We love being cheeky monkeys at the playground, swinging on the climbing frame and zooming down the slide at super speeds. My daddy is king of the playground. <laughs> we love gliding across the ice in our skates and wearing fabulous costumes. You're so graceful, Daddy. <laughs> My Daddy is king of the ice. We love painting pictures of nature. Especially when nature joins in. My Daddy is king of painting pictures. We love playing sports. Especially muddy ones. My daddy is king of sports. We love planning adventures. And going on them too. Are you sure this is the right way to play group daddy? My daddy is king of adventures. We love travelling together and always go everywhere as fast as we possibly can. Oh. Come on, Daddy, we're going to be late for the ball. <coughs> My Daddy is king of the road. <coughs> but most of all, we love having picnics together. Hmm. We eat them on the beach in the countryside or even high up in the clouds. My daddy and me love doing everything together. My daddy is king of my whole world. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig and the Vegetable Garden Peppa Pig and her little brother George are playing at Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig's house. They love to help Grandpa Pig in the garden. What are you doing, Grandpa Pig? asked Peppa. I'm planting seeds. What happens to the seed? They grow into plants. I make a small hole in the ground, put the seed inside and cover it with earth. Then I water it. Everything in my garden grows from seeds like this. Wow. Ouch, says Grandpa Pig. An apple fell on his head. Peppa and George laugh. Grandpa laughs too. Look, he says, inside the apple are more seeds. <coughs> to grow more apple trees, says Peppa. I want to plant a seed, Peppa says. She makes a little hole and puts a seed in it. Then she covers the seed with earth. Grandpa lets her water it. Now we wait for it to grow, he says. Peppa waits. George waits. They wait and wait and wait. It's not doing anything, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig laughs. You have to be patient. Ah, what's this, says Peppa. It's a monster. Monster, <laughs> says George. Grandpa Pig laughs. <laughs> it's just a little snail. <laughs> says George. Monster. He likes a snail. <laughs> Let's play snails, says Peppa. <laughs> Grandpa Pig finds some baskets for Peppa and George and they play snails in the garden. 
Look, says Peppa, a butterfly. Why do butterflies love flowers? They drink from flowers, says Grandpa Pig. Wow. They drink the flower's nectar. It's their food. Hmm. Look at me, I'm playing butterfly, Peppa shouts. George wants to be a butterfly too. No, George, I am a butterfly. You can play worm. George doesn't want to play worm. Come on, George, says Grandpa Pig. Playing worm is fun. Grandpa Pig shows George how to lie on the ground and wiggle. Soon Peppa wants to play worm too. Grandpa plants some more seeds. He drops them on the ground. But when he turns around, a little bird is eating them. Shoo! Shoo! says Grandpa. Granny Pig comes to see. We need a scarecrow, she says. Grandpa Pig brings Peppa and George to his garden shed. We'll find lots of things in here to make a scarecrow with, he says. He finds sticks, string, some straw, and an old sack. They build the scarecrow, then dress it in some old clothes. Peppa and George paint a face. The birds see the scarecrow. They stop eating Grandpa's seeds. The birds look sad, says Peppa. <sighs> they must be hungry. <coughs> Granny Pig brings out a bird feeder. Lunch time, birds, she calls. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have come. Granny Pig needs blackberries to make a pie for lunch. Everybody wants to help. This blackberry bush has been here since I was a little girl, says Mummy Pig. Oh. Mummy Pig climbs a ladder to get to the berries at the top. Oh no! Mummy Pig falls into the bush. Where is she? <coughs> Mummy Pig is okay, but she looks like a berry bush. <laughs> Peppa and George pick berries from the mummy bush. <coughs> Grandpa Pig, Peppa and George finish picking vegetables for lunch. <coughs> they make a salad. <coughs> Granny Pig cuts up a cucumber. I love cucumbers, says Peppa. Yuck, says George. He doesn't like salad. Grandpa has an idea. He gives George a new plate. Dinosaur, says George. He eats his salad. He likes it. He loves Granny Pig's blackberry pie too. Yum. The end. Peppa Pig, the fire engine. <coughs> Mummy Pig is going to the fire engine practice. Good excuse for a chat, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> I have a very important meeting and a barbecue with the daddy's football team. <coughs> Mummy Pig, Peppa and George arrive at Miss Rabbit's fire station. Oh! Wow! <coughs> gasped Peppa, seeing the big red fire engine. Batman! Giggles George. Daddy Pig and his friends are playing football and having a barbecue in the garden. <laughs> oh dear, the barbecue has turned into a fire. Daddy Pig rings the fire station. The fire phone is ringing. Hello Daddy Pig, answers Miss Rabbit. This phone is only for when there's a... Fire! shouts Daddy Pig. We'll be right there, replies Miss Rabbit. 
Mummies to the rescue! cries Miss Rabbit, sliding down the fire pole. Hold tight! cries Mummy Pig. Wee! laughs Peppa. The fire engine is ready to go. Peppa George and the mummies soon find the barbecue and get their water hose out. Stand back, daddies! cries Miss Rabbit. The water comes spurting out the hose. Tsss. Hooray! cheer all the daddies when the fire is out. Thank you for saving us, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> no problem, replies Miss Rabbit. It's all part of our service. Now that Miss Rabbit has flooded the garden, says Daddy Pig, we can jump up and down in muddy puddles. I love fire engines, says Peppa, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig. Peppa gives thanks. <laughs> it is a lovely sunny morning. Peppa and Susie are having a tea party in the garden. Hmm. I brought my teddy to join us, says Peppa. Did you bring your owl, Susie? No, says Susie. <laughs> I brought Mr. Super Snuggles. He's the best bear in the world. What does he do? Peppa asks. He can sing, says Susie, and say I love you, and his eyes light up. <coughs> wow, says Peppa. My teddy can't do any of those things. <sighs> when Peppa gets home, she finds Mummy and Daddy Pig. I would like a Mr. Super Snuggles, please, she says. <coughs> but do you have a teddy bear, Peppa? says Mummy Pig. My teddy is boring, Peppa snorts. He can't sing or talk and his eyes don't light up. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Daddy Pig laughs. Come, Peppa, let me show you something. Daddy Pig shows Peppa a photo album. There are lots of pictures inside. Wow. This is when we went camping, says Peppa. And to the beach. And on a hot air balloon ride. And who is in all the pictures with you? Asks Daddy Pig. My teddy! Cries Peppa. Right, says Daddy Pig. You've had teddy ever since you were a little piggy. That makes him very special. We have to be thankful for the things that we have. Says Mummy Pig. What's thankful? asked Peppa. It means we're happy for the wonderful things in our life, says Mummy Pig. Oh. What are you thankful for, Peppa? <coughs> Peppa thinks. My toys! She runs upstairs. Her room is filled with lots of lovely toys. <laughs> what else? asked Mummy Pig. <coughs> our house! cries Peppa. I love our house, and our car, and our garden. Ho <laughs> ho! <laughs> laughs Daddy Pig. Anything else? Hmm, Peppa thinks. I know something I'm thankful for, says Mummy Pig. <laughs> what? asks Peppa. You and George and Daddy Pig, of course, says Mummy Pig. <laughs> Peppa giggles. I'm thankful for that too. <laughs> and I'm thankful for Susie Sheep and all my friends, <laughs> says Peppa. And Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Let's call Granny and Grandpa Pig right now, says Mummy Pig. <laughs> we can invite them to a special dinner. <laughs> Later that day, Granny and Grandpa Pig arrive. Mummy and Daddy Pig make a delicious dinner for everyone. Hmm. Peppa and George help set the table. This looks wonderful, says Granny Pig. Thank you for inviting us over. 
Peppa, would you like to tell Granny and Grandpa what you learned today? Asked Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, says Peppa. I learned that I'm thankful. And thankful for my toys and their house and my friends. <laughs> How lovely, says Granny Pig. But most of all, I'm thankful for my family, says Peppa. And my teddy. <laughs> Peppa loves being thankful. Everyone loves being thankful. Especially when there's so much to be thankful for. The end. Peppa Pig. Beep, beep, brrrm. George's Noisy Vehicle Book. <laughs> Peppa and her family are going for a picnic in the countryside. <laughs> Hooray! cries Peppa. I love picnics. George loves picnics too. But he wants to stay at home and play with his toys. Cheer up, George. We'll have a lovely day, says Daddy Pig, beeping his horn. <laughs> beep, beep, giggles George. He likes her noisy red car. Off they drive down the hill. But what's that noise? It's Mr. Zebra's post van. Wow. We're stuck in a traffic jam, says Mr. Zebra. <coughs> oh dear, says Daddy Pig. This isn't a good start. <coughs> honk, honk, <coughs> laughs George. At last they're on the move. But what's that noise? It's Mr. Bull's digger. Moo, <coughs> you'll have to wait, bellows Mr. Bull. We're digging up the road! <gasps> Not another delay, cries Mummy Pig. <coughs> dick, 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 laughs George. <coughs> At last, Mr. Bull has finished and off they go. <coughs> but what's that noise? <coughs> it's a fire engine. Wow. You'll have to wait while I put out the fire. Shouts Mrs. Sheep. Nina! Cries George, bouncing up and down on the back seat. <laughs> At last the fire is put out, and off they go. <laughs> but what's that noise? <laughs> it's a train. Daddy Pig has to stop while the train whizzes past. Kiki! Laughs George. Can we go home for our picnic? asks Peppa. <coughs> what a good idea, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> but George doesn't want to go home. <sighs> He's loved seeing all the noisy vehicles. <coughs> Cheer up, George, <coughs> says Peppa. You'll be able to play with all your noisy toys. <coughs> and he does. <coughs> The end. Peppa Pig, Grandpa Pig to the rescue. Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and George for a ride on his little train, Gertrude. Gertrude has rubber wheels so we don't have to go on train tracks, says Grandpa Pig. Wow. I love Gertrude, <coughs> says Peppa. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in her big train, taking the grown-ups to work. Morning, Grandpa Pig, calls Miss Rabbit. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive, says Grandpa Pig. The 
big train is going very fast. It can go much faster than Gertrude. Oh no, the big train has broken down. Gertrude catches up with Miss Rabbit's big train. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down like Gertrude, says Grandpa Pig. That's a good idea, says Miss Rabbit. I'm borrowing your little train. All change, calls Mr. Rabbit. All the passengers climb into Gertrude and Grandpa Pig is left behind. Oh no! Mrs. Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. How's the train, Shank? asks Mrs. Cow. Now, this is a toy train, says Miss Rabbit. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive, says Peppa. There is a traffic jam on the road, so Miss Rabbit takes a shortcut. Hello, ducks, calls Peppa as they ride past the duck pond. Gertrude might not be very fast, but at least she can ride on the grass. Gertrude crawls up the very steep hill. Wow! You can make it, cheer the passengers. Gertrude reaches the top of the hill very slowly. By the time she reaches the last station, it will be time for everyone to go home again. Back down the line, Grandpa Pig is trying to mend the big train. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs, says Grandpa Pig, but can he put them back together again? Finally, Gertrude reaches the station, and so does Grandpa Pig with the big train. Oh. You've mended it, <coughs> says Peppa. Hooray! All change, calls Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> Everyone gets in the big train, ready to go home. Hooray! Off we go, says Miss Rabbit. Stop, <coughs> cries Peppa. <coughs> what about Gertrude? We can't leave her behind. Don't worry, we can take the toy train as well, says Miss Rabbit. She uses a crane to hoist Gertrude into the big train. Wow. Gertrude is not a toy, says Grandpa Pig. We know, says Miss Rabbit, she is a miniature locomotive. Miss Rabbit drives all the passengers and Gertrude home. Hooray! Everyone agrees that Gertrude is the best miniature locomotive in the whole world. Hooray! Gertrude is the best train in the whole world, <coughs> says Peppa. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Magical Creatures Peppa and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig is reading a bedtime story. And the fairy and the unicorn lived happily ever after, says Granny Pig. The end. I wish I was a fairy, <coughs> Peppa sighs dreamily. <sighs> Touch Peppa's shiny wings. <coughs> Granny Pig tucks Peppa and George into bed. The next story is an underwater adventure, <coughs> she says. We can read it in the morning. I hope it has a mermaid in it says Peppa, with a beautiful shimmery tail. Wow! Touch Mermaid Peppa's shimmery tail. Peppa dreams of being a mermaid. And a friendly narwhal swims up to say hello. Mermaid Peppa giggles. You're a little sea unicorn! 
touch the squishy narwhal. George can't get to sleep. He wakes Peppa up. Would you like another story, George? asked Peppa. Mr. Dinosaur will like this one. Peppa tells George and Mr. Dinosaur a story about a big green dragon. Touch the dragon's bumpy skin. <laughs> Granny Pig comes back to turn off the light. Night, night, my lovelies, she whispers. What shall we dream of next? Peppa asks sleepily. Unicorns? Touch the soft unicorn. Sweet dreams. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Magical Unicorn One rainy day, Peppa invited Susie Sheep to her house to play. Hello, Susie, cried Peppa when she arrived. Let's play with my horse. Peppa introduced Susie to her toy horse. Susie, meet Horsey Twinkletoes. Horsey Twinkletoes, meet Susie. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Miss Twinkletoes, said Susie politely. <laughs> Peppa and Susie galloped off to Peppa's bedroom together. Giddy up, horsey, shouted Peppa, racing around her room on horsey Twinkletoes while Susie watched. Daddy Pig heard all the noise and came upstairs to see what was going on. We're playing horses, Daddy, cried Peppa. I see, said Daddy Pig, seeing Susie sitting quietly. Do you think perhaps it's Susie's turn, Peppa? asked Daddy Pig. Yes, replied Peppa. Come on, Susie, you can ride Horsey Twinkletoes now. I don't want to play horses, sighed Susie. <laughs> I want to play unicorns. Peppa thought for a moment. Well... Horsey Twinkletoes is a magic horse, she said. She can be a unicorn whenever she feels like it. Oh, said Susie. Okay. Susie pranced around the room on Horsey Twinkletoes. Let's brush her beautiful tail, said Peppa. But unicorns have rainbow tails, said Susie. <laughs> oh, said Peppa. That's okay, we can put coloured ribbons in it. What a good idea, said Daddy Pig. You do that while I get you both a snack. Now we can fly on the sky on our unicorn, cheered Peppa. But a unicorn has a horn to hold when you fly, said Susie. <laughs> Horsey Twinkletoes doesn't have a horn. Oh, said Peppa. That's okay. She flies so gently, you don't even have to hold on. Peppa and Susie took it in turns to fly around the room. I wish Horsey Twinkletoes was a real unicorn, said Susie. <laughs> and I wish he was really, really, really sparkly, added Peppa. I think Horsey Twinkletoes is tired, said Daddy Pig. Why don't you build her a den to sleep in? Yay! Oh! cheered Peppa and Susie. While Peppa and Susie were busy building a den in the living room, Daddy Pig gathered some secret supplies for later. Wow! said Daddy Pig, when Peppa and Susie had finished. What a fantastic den! Can we sleep in it tonight, Daddy? asked Peppa. Please! Of course, said Daddy Pig. If Mammy Sheep says it's okay, you can have a sleepover in the den. Hooray! Hooray! Cheered Peppa and Susie. After dinner, Peppa and Susie got ready for their sleepover. Please, can you read us a bedtime story all about unicorns, Daddy? Asked Peppa. Of course, Daddy Pig replied. When the story was finished, Peppa and Susie snuggled up in their cosy den 
and fell fast asleep. While Peppa and Susie slept, Daddy Pig picked up horsey twinkle toes, tiptoed outside and quietly set to work painting. And painting some more, then sticking and sticking some more. And then Daddy Pig added the final touch, a horn. Daddy Pig sneaked back to the den to return horsey twinkle toes. Ta-da! He whispered. Then he went upstairs and was about to go to sleep when he heard, Wow! Peppa and Susie gasped loudly. They had woken up to find horsey twinkle toes had transformed into a magical unicorn. I told you horsey twinkle toes was magic, said Peppa. She's perfect, added Susie. <coughs> the next morning, Peppa, Susie, George, Mammy and Daddy Pig all sat down for breakfast. Peppa told her family what had happened. And when we woke up, horsey twinkle toes had turned into a real unicorn, gasped Peppa. <coughs> it's magic. Hmm, said Daddy Pig sleepily. How wonderful, said Mammy Pig. It sounds like you and Susie had the perfect sleepover. Yes, said Peppa, but why does Daddy have paint all over his face? Daddy Pig couldn't answer. He had fallen asleep at the table. After breakfast, Peppa and Susie headed off on a magical adventure with their new unicorn. I love your magical unicorn, cheered Susie. <coughs> Me too, said Peppa. Everyone loves magical unicorns, especially Daddy Pig. <coughs> the end. Peppa's Pizza Party. <coughs> It is lunchtime at Peppa's house. Can we make pizzas? Peppa asks. George loves pizza. So do Mummy and Daddy Pig. Peppa is excited to start. But first, everyone must wash their hands. They use soap and water to get all clean. When they are done washing, they gather ingredients. To make our pizzas, says Daddy Pig, we need flour, tomato, chimes in Mummy Pig, cheese, continues Daddy Pig, and toppings. But wait, there's something missing. George likes pineapple on his pizza, Peppa says. Pineapple, Daddy Pig repeats, on pizza? I think that's against the law. <laughs> Peppa laughs. Daddy Pig is being silly. It is not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Mammy Pig sprinkles a little flour on the table so that the dough doesn't stick. Then, with their clean hands, Peppa and George knead the dough. Bam, bam, bam! I am big and strong, Peppa says. And George is big and strong too. <laughs> Next, they make the dough into four balls. These will become four pizza pies. Hmm. Mammy Pig rolls the dough balls flat with her rolling pin. Oh! says Peppa. They look like pizzas now. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig make a sauce with the tomatoes. Then Peppa and George smooth it over the dough. Oh! I like making pizza, <coughs> Peppa says. It's so fun. <laughs> now it is time to decorate the pizzas. Can we make happy faces on top? Peppa asks. Of course we can, replies Daddy Pig. 
I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. <laughs> and I'll use onions for the eyes and basil for the smile, says Mammy Pig. Peppa uses sweet corn for the smile and little tomatoes for the eyes. George has pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the smile. <laughs> Mammy Pig puts on her oven mitts. Then she places the pizzas in the oven to bake. When the pizzas are done, Peppa George, Mammy Pig and Daddy Pig eat in the garden. Their pizzas are very good. Mm. These are the best pizzas in the world, says Peppa. Peppa loves pizza. Everyone loves pizza. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Baking Competition. Mm. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is having a baking competition and Peppa is very excited. Can we bake a special cake, please? She asked Mummy and Daddy Pig. Yes, of course, Peppa, says Mummy Pig. We can all bake a cake together. George cheers. Cake! Can we make a cake like this? Asked Peppa, pointing to the recipe book cover. That's a Victoria sponge, says Daddy Pig. It's a classic. <laughs> Peppa and George have lots of fun making their Victoria sponge. Spongy Punky, says George. <laughs> hmm, it looks nice, says Peppa, looking at the cake. But I'm not sure it's special enough. <sighs> Miss Rabbit loves carrots. Maybe we should make a carrot cake, says Peppa. Great idea, says Mummy Pig. So they bake a lovely sweet carrot cake. Hmm, mm, it looks tasty, says Peppa, looking at the carrot cake. But I wonder if a chocolate cake might be even more special. You can't go wrong with a chocolate cake, Peppa, says Daddy Pig. Why's that, Daddy Pig? asked Mummy Pig. Because it's made of yummy chocolate, of course, replies Daddy Pig. <laughs> so Peppa and her family set to work and bake a yummy chocolate cake. Soon the chocolate cake is ready. Wow! They all look so special, says Peppa. I don't know which one to choose for the competition. <coughs> then Peppa has a brilliant idea. She puts the cakes on top of each other. <laughs> then she covers the whole cake and the kitchen in rainbow sparkles. It's my special giant sprinkle cake. Peppa announces proudly. It's got sponge chocolate and carrot cake all together. <laughs> now that looks really, really special, Peppa, says Mummy Pig, smiling. When they get to the competition, Peppa sees her friends, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog and Emily Elephant. They have made cakes too. Hmm. Miss Rabbit spends a long time deciding. Finally, she makes an announcement. Hooray! The winner of my baking competition is... Peppa and George's Special Giant Sprinkle Cake! Everyone cheers. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, says Peppa. What's my prize? A piece of delicious cake, says Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Peppa loves cake. Everyone loves cake. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Miss Rabbit's Taxi. 
Peppa and George are at the supermarket with Mummy Pig. That's a lot of shopping, says Miss Rabbit at the checkout. It's for Grandpa, explains Peppa. Granny's going away on holiday. Wow! Daddy Pig is waiting outside. Where's the car? asks Mummy Pig. I didn't bring the car, replies Daddy Pig. I didn't think you would be buying so much. I'll call for a taxi, says Mummy Pig. Hello, taxi service, says Miss Rabbit. A taxi will be with you shortly. I see you've been shopping, says Miss Rabbit. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Miss Rabbit, why are you talking so much? Asked Peppa. It's what taxi drivers do, Peppa, says Miss Rabbit. The taxi arrives at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Daddy Pig takes his shopping inside. Granny Pig calls for a taxi to take her to the airport. Luckily, Miss Rabbit is still there. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George go to the airport in Miss Rabbit's taxi with Granny Pig. Goodbye, my little ones, says Granny Pig. I'll be back soon. Mr. Wolf arrives on an aeroplane and gets in the taxi. How will we get home now? asks Peppa. We'll have to call a taxi, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Miss Rabbit drives back to the airport to pick up Peppa George and Daddy Pig. On the way, she finds Mr. Bull standing in the middle of the road. <laughs> I'm supposed to be mending the airport, but my truck's broken down, complains Mr. Bull. Oh no! I'm going to the airport, says Miss Rabbit. Have you got any luggage? Justice send, replies Mr. Bull. <laughs> Mr. Badger pulls a lever to pour sand from a tipper truck into the taxi. Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Miss Rabbit's taxi arrives at the airport. Here's the sand, says Mr. Bull to his workers, lifting up the front of the taxi. Now Miss Rabbit can drive Daddy Pig, Peppa and George home. Then you can have a rest, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> I should be so lucky, says Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit gets back to the supermarket. There is a long line of customers queuing up to pay. Sorry to have kept you waiting, says Miss Rabbit. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. The End Peppa Pig, Mr. Bull in a China Shop It is a lovely day. Daddy Pig is taking everyone out for a drive. Stop! shouts Mr. Bull. We're digging up the road! Digger! shouts George. George likes diggers. Daddy Pig waits at the red light. Will the digging take long? Asked Mummy Pig. It will take as long as it takes, shouts Mr. Bull. Mr. Bull walks off. It is time for his tea break. Oh dear, now we'll have to wait even longer, says Mummy Pig. Why don't you join us, booms Mr. Bull. Thank you, Mummy Pig smiles. Everybody sits down. Mr. Bull pours out the tea. That's a nice teapot, says Peppa. Yes, snorts Mr. Bull. It's made of delicate china. Mr. Bull puts the teapot down on the table too hard. Oh no, he yells. I've broken it. Mr. Bull doesn't know his own strength sometimes. He is very sad. 
Miss Rabbit has a china shop, says Mammy Pig. She could mend the teapot. Good idea, shouts Mr. Bull. We'll go right now. Mr. Bull drives all the way to the china shop. Miss Rabbit is hard at work. Moo! bellows Mr. Bull. Miss Rabbit looks up. Ah! she wails. A bull in a china shop. I have broken my china teapot, cries Mr. Bull. Miss Rabbit takes a look at the teapot. Hmm, she frowns. That's very broken, but I think I can fix it. Miss Rabbit gets out some glue. Fixing a teapot is like doing a jigsaw puzzle. The pieces fit together, says Peppa. There's just one funny shaped bit left, says Miss Rabbit. Peppa giggles. Miss Rabbit has found the handle. Miss Rabbit gives the teapot back to Mr. Bull. It's good as new, he bellows. Thank you. Be careful not to smash it again, says Miss Rabbit. I am very good at smashing things, agrees Mr. Bull. Outside the china shop there is a hole in the road. Look, boss! says Mr. Labrador. Mr. Bull makes up his mind. Miss Rabbit can't have a hole outside her shop. You fix my teapot, shouts Mr. Bull. I'll fix your road. How are you going to mend the hole? wonders Peppa. Mr. Bull grins. We'll dig up the road. Mr. Bull likes digging up the road. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more!